And always I like to increase the temperature for this firing at least 60 degrees up. I need to melt the material, to melt it a lot, to avoid what? To avoid porosities, to avoid bubbles. And, of course, at the beginning, I need to adjust what? The opacity. And with opaque denting, I just correct, and I'm trying to make the same shapes everywhere. Denting. Denting, and now I'm trying to correct the axis to the opposite. Okay, the axis in the girl, it was like this. It was like this. Now I'm trying to correct to the opposite, uh, to the opposite way. The thing, always we use asymmetric uh, layering, more high value than thing in the proximal, in the middle, here, and at the incisal area, here also. And at the end of the dentine, we use a little bit opaque dentine. Why? I need to modify the opacity. I need to, mo to modify and to change the opacity of the dentine at the end, medial and distal, and at the incisal area, here. And now I will apply <coughs> opalescence enamel to create, after the main color and opacity, to create a little bit more opalescence uh, inside the palette here and in the proximal also. And then I'm applying mamelons. So first we create opalescence palette, opalescence background, blue is opalescence, and then we apply the mamelons. So we make the mamelons more uh, light penetrated and we play between the yellowish and bluish opalescence. We have really nice and more uh, natural result. And at the apex, the end of the mamelons, I like to make them a little bit more fluorescent. If you cut a natural tooth, you will see that at the end of the, of the mamelons, we can see more fluorescence, more opacity and more fluorescence, the apex, the, the latest one millimeter, 0 0.5 millimeter of the mamelons are more fluorescence and a little bit more opacity. So we use more fluorescence material. <coughs> and now, as you can see, we change. Now we change the plane. The, the, <coughs> Uh, the lines like this, in this direction. We need to correct. And this is pure transparent, the edge of Noritaki, to create the dentinoenamel junction. We cover a two-thirds of the tooth with transparent. So we adjust, we create color, we create opacity, we apply some modifiers, and now, we cover them with pure transparent to make them more 3D dimension. And this is more, more high value enamel at the transition angles to make the transition angles a little bit more white, more high value. And this is looser in the middle. More fine grain ceramic and more opalescent ceramic to create opalescence and to uh, apply a material that it will be really nice at the end when we will create surface texture. And this is the blue, the more opalescent material in the middle, just to create more illusion of depth. And now we change the axis and the horizontal to the opposite. Okay, do you remember how it was before? It was like this. Now it's like this. Why? Because we need to correct. <coughs> and of course we take care about the position of the middle line because the most of the time when we change the middle line, we lost the position. Okay, we have to be very careful and to mark from the beginning where it will be the middle